Fierce fighting erupted Saturday in Sudan's capital between the military and the country's powerful paramilitary force, raising fears of a wider conflict in the chaos-stricken country. The clashes between the military and the Rapid Support Forces group capped months of heightened tensions between both sides that forced the delay of a deal with political parties to restore the country's short-lived transition to democracy. The sound of heavy firing could be heard across the capital, Khartoum, and its sister city of Omdurman, where both the military and the RSF have amassed tens of thousands of troops since an October 2021 military coup that derailed Sudan's fragile path to democracy. Residents described chaotic scenes in Khartoum and Omdurman as firing and explosions rang out in densely populated neighborhoods. Fire and explosions are everywhere, said Amal Mohammed, a doctor in a public hospital in Omdurman. All are running and seeking shelter. The fighting comes after months of escalating tensions between the generals and years of political unrest after an October 2021 military coup. Current tensions between the military and the paramilitary stem from a disagreement over how the RSF, headed by General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalo, should be integrated into the military and what authority should oversee the process. The merger is a key condition of Sudan's unsigned transition agreement with political groups. Here's what we have so far. The Sudanese paramilitary group Rapid Support Forces took over the presidential palace in the capital Khartoum earlier today. It is now reported that government special forces have retaken control of the republic's palace in Khartoum, as well as the airport. Fighting erupted between the Sudan Armed Forces and the Rapid Support Forces in Khartoum capital of the country. Multiple Sudan army helicopters spotted over Khartoum. Attack helicopters also engaged RSF targets. The Sudan Air Force also is involved in the clashes. The planes attacked rebel targets all over the capital. The army has declared the militia as rebels. Also, the Sudanese army announced that it repelled the attack on the army headquarters and the presidential palace of this country. A battalion of the Egyptian army and forces surrenders to the rapid support forces in Marawi. Rapid support forces have also captured Jabal Aulia Air Base. Video shows Sudanese Air Force Mi-24 attack helicopters. The RSF launched multiple coordinated assaults and captured the base.
السيد الفريق هو محمد حمدان قايد هو قدام الفريق والرئيس الان ما نقول النائب الرئيس الله اكبر جاهزين وهو ده بس ده الشغل بيان بالعمل الله اكبر الدبابات اي حاجه الله اكبر بيان بالعمل ده البيان بالعمل الله اكبر بيان بالعمل الله اكبر جاهزين يا سوري حسن الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر صور كل المطار ده كل صور المطار والسيارات الشركه والغريب كلها صور السيارات دي كلها فيها السيارات دي كلها الله اكبر Several aircraft damaged including a Saudi A330 at Khartoum airport as Sudan's paramilitary rapid support forces takes control of the airport after days of tension in the country. Smoke coming up from an RSF facility in Khartoum. It was hit just a short while ago. Fire from the building is visible. The fight is clearly not over in the capital. During the military coup, a passenger plane of the Ukrainian company Sky Up with a Ukrainian crew caught fire. The shelling of the airport was confirmed by a Ukrainian flight attendant who reported that the crew was being held hostage by the rebels. Here are the other footages that we got so far. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.